a good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel got a pretty decent day going on today after a lot of morning showers and I'm trying to dial in a 48 volt battery and trying to cycle it between the sweet spot and I'm going to show you just what that looks like it's kind of crazy watching the uh, numbers come in on the charge controller but I think I've got it dialed in so for the past several months, uh, this Power Queen 51.2 volt, 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery has basically been getting up to a full charge every single day, uh, except maybe for a day here or there, but absolutely up to 100% full. And I'll show you what I've been running on it most of the time. So for the past several months, 24 seven, been running this Visani five cubic foot deep freezer, 24 seven. And with that battery getting up to 100% full every day in the morning uh, running this, I'm still at about 90% full, uh, maybe 92% full by morning. So this is not taking much of that power, which made me question, do I need to be getting up to 100% full every day on that battery? And this is the charge controller that I've been running on this the entire time, and it works well. And I just use the uh, preset for lithium iron phosphate in this charge controller. And it has absolutely pumped in all the power to get it up to 100% full every single day. No problem. Even on some days where, you know, the sun's not so great, with 700 watts of solar coming through here, that battery most times I look at it 100% full and then just drops down, you know, 7 to 8% of the battery's capacity overnight. So what I've gone done and done now is change the parameters. So I wasn't really sure uh, what settings I should use to basically charge this up to 80% full. And here I'm getting some pretty good sun. And if we take a look... Uh, these are some user-defined uh, settings that I've gone in and, and readjusted my charge control parameters for this. Instead of uh, using the preset, which would just drive this up full power, you know, allowing in full sun up until that 100% full. And now you can see, you know, I've got my voltage. You can see it's hovering right around 54 volts. And here comes a burst of sun and then boom, it drops it off. And it's just holding that at, you know, roughly 54 volts. It lets in sun and look at that, how it just is working here. And I'm gonna show you what the parameters I've got set now are. And I will mention that when I had it set on the, the lithium iron phosphate preset, uh, when this would be getting up to its full charge, uh, my inverter would beep over voltage quite a bit. It never interfered with anything, but uh, the beeping kind of irritated me sometimes. So I decided to try to get it into that, uh, you know, go up to 80% and then cycle it down overnight and, you know, try and work it within that set of parameters. And so I just give you another little bit of look here at this of how it's working. Now, right now we've got some clouds rolling through. So it's pumping about the most uh, that it can just to hold it at 54 volts. And then when that sun comes out, you'll watch, you know, when it jumps up to, you know, 500 watts or so coming in and you can watch how the, uh, the amps change as well. And here it goes up, and then you watch how fast that thing is, and boom, right back down. So I'm getting it to where I want to go, but it's kind of confusing for me. Watch it jump down one more time. There we go. Crazy. So on the settings, I took it off of the preset and went to user defined, and I put the absorption voltage, as you can see in there, at 55.2 volts and the float voltage at 53.6. And if we look at the last few days that I've been doing it, this 
this is a, let's see, I started right here, one, two, three. So I'm on the fourth day, and you can see, you know, the maximum battery. Now it does go up to that 55.2 volts, right, right there, each and every day, perfect. And you can see how much it's been putting in, 840 watt hours, 710 watt hours, 1.1 kilowatt hours, 770 so far today and it's just about getting ready to you know go into a different mode here go into its absorption mode but it's, it does it in a different way than when it was on the preset and I, I really haven't quite figured out uh, exactly what's going on with that and here's taking a look at uh, four weeks ago, this, this log goes back for a month. So if I go back uh, a, a month, this is the four weeks ago. And you can see that, you know, running it up to the higher voltage, as you can see, 56.9, 56.9. There's a 57, 57. You know, it was running much higher and it was just cranking in the power, getting up to a full charge and float every day. 100%. That's what the 100% looked like. And when I was running the preset numbers, it didn't do this kind of fluctuation. It just opened those panels up, pumped the power in, and it didn't do this. <laughs> but I will say that I've been getting up to about that, you know, a little over 80% charge. I never knew exactly how to program this. To get it to 80% charge, I did some research and I found out that these numbers were working well for people and I decided I would give it a try. And for the past four days, it's worked just absolutely beautifully, but it's uh, just hard to get my head around exactly how that's doing that. See, is it, there it goes down to, you know, much lower and then it, you know, gives it a pulse holding that voltage right at 54, just under 54. There's a quick blip of 56 and then bam drops it and then it goes back up so this seems to be working it's just a, a different way of getting there and you can see there's my gauge right there 83.4 percent full and it won't get much higher than that today at the way that it's now configured which is about what I wanted I wanted to just kind of get this up to 80 percent let it cycle down as much as it will overnight, which only takes it down, you know, at the most 10%, but usually not even that. So then I can be cycling just from 80% full down. So I've got my max charge current set at 35 amps, which is what my charge controller is. Got it set to expert mode. There's my absorption, 55.2, float 53.6. I put the rebulk voltage offset at 0 0.60 volts, absorption time of five hours, and a tail current, which I've never used in any of my charge controllers, at one amp. And that's what was recommended. And of course, no equalization, so it's off. But that's what it looks like, and I am getting it up to just over 80% every day now. But here's one of the things that kind of puzzles me is you can, you know, see my voltage there just hovering at that 54. You know, I assume that it would just push this up to that uh, 55.2 volts, which is what the bulk is set for. I mean, it's definitely got enough power to do that, but it doesn't do that. It goes up. Now, it will go to that 55.2, but it, it's doing it very, very slowly. Uh, so it's, it's just a little bit different way of getting up there that I fully don't understand what's happening here, but it seems to be working. I wish I had the, some different language that I could use for this, but I know some of you guys will. And I think I'm doing okay. So now I'm not going to be sitting at basically 100% full. I mean, there's no reason uh, that I can think of. And 
this is what has been recommended to really extend the life of these batteries is, you know, get it up to the 80% full and, and then, you know, no lower than about 20%, which that battery has never seen 20% uh, depth of discharge. And it's just crazy to watch the way that this charge controller works that, you know, there it is just holding it rock steady, 53.8 volts you know, call that 54 basically. And then if that sun comes out and spikes that, man, it just, it just drops real quick and then starts it, you know, going in slowly, but surely. And looking at today's, I'm assuming that I'm just about getting ready to where it's gonna, you know, slip into its float stage. It's just a different way of getting there <laughs> and it is getting there but yeah so there you know it shows everything's looking good so it's actually holding it what my understanding is closer to the float voltage all this time you know near that 54 volts when it definitely has the power to push it up to 55.2 volts for its absorption stage. And it does get up to there, but it, it does it in a roundabout way that is different than if I use the, the preset charging parameters. Now I'm gonna come back in a few minutes when it switches its mode out of bulk and see if I can catch that because it just does this every day for the past few days, which, you know, as far as I can tell, is is perfect. It's just the way that it gets there, I fully don't understand. I know some of you guys will that have a lot more experience with this. I'd always been very satisfied with the presets, let it run up to 100% full. But now I'm trying to experiment and find a different way, especially to extend the life of this battery, which is just a great battery. So now, there, boom. <laughs> It's just holding it right at that, you know, 53.8, 53.8. And the minute it spikes above that, boom, drops it right back down. But I'll try and catch it when it switches over it's, uh, into absorption. And I think it's gonna do that fairly quick because um, it's still in bulk. But we put in 100 and, or 860 watt hours so far. The max that it allowed off the panels, as you can see right there, 520 watts. Everything looks great. And not even one minute after I said we'll try and catch it going into absorption, as I figured it was getting close. There, it just clicked over into absorption. And now look, now it's just going to hold it rock steady at 55.2. So I'm not kidding you. I know so sooner turned the camera off and thought I'd have to come back in a little bit, but I kind of thought it was getting close and it was. You know, if I go back to here, we can see 870 watt hours. So nothing really changed from the time I said I wanted to catch it going into absorption. So now it has. <clears throat> And there it is. And now you see it's holding everything very, very steady and it's holding it rock steady at 55.2, which is exactly what the absorption voltage is set for. Yeah. And now it'll do that. <laughs> it's just the way that it got there. I mean, it didn't let it ramp all the way up there when it obviously could have, it took its time and did that jumping around, you know, with the, the watts and the amps jumping all over the place. And now there it is, end of absorption. Only taking a little over 100 watts, 0.8 amps. Yeah. So there it is. And and took it up to 85%. So, and that's where it's gonna stay. 
it's just going to stay at that 85% now. So I, I thought I was a little closer to 80%, but there it is. And now that's going to be a full battery. Yeah. 870 watt hours. Now we can go here and press this for today. And you can see now it's been in absorption for three minutes. It was in bulk with, you know, those crazy numbers running in uh, for seven hours and 39 minutes. So basically from the time the, the sun or light first hit those panels is when that started. So, yeah, and then right up to 55.2, 55.2, 55.2, 55.2, exactly as it's programmed now. Just a different way of getting there and not driving it up to 100% full. Yeah, and just taking minimal amount of power just to hold it right there, which it will do for hours. And interesting on the <clears throat> battery monitor, as you can tell, the light is off. It's not charging or discharging. It's just holding 85%, which I'm happy with. And there it is, just holding rock steady at 55.2 volts. Mm, not much power required to hold it there. So... I'll be interested to hear how some of you guys explain this to an old man because it's a little bit different than the way I would normally get up to what I consider a full charge. But now that I'm experimenting, uh, trying to drive these up to 80% full and, and find what numbers work for that and then just cycle it down from, you know, no higher than 80 and down, I think that'll be fine. And from a lot of you guys that know a lot more than I do, that is fine from what I hear. So let me know what you guys think. Yeah, pretty happy about that. I'm glad I was able to catch exactly what's going on for you guys. <clears throat> yeah. That's what it looks like. So yeah, I got to that, like I said, that 55.2, but in a roundabout way. All right. Well, thanks as always for tuning in, guys. I'm going to be really interested to hear what you guys say. A lot for me to learn on these lithium batteries, and I've always been happy with 100% full, and I'm just experimenting. That's all I'm doing. And letting you guys fill in the gaps that I don't have. <laughs> I've got a gap between the ears, though. That's for sure. Aloha, you guys.